Here we are at Murdoch Campus Student Support Services. Um, we're here to find out more about what student support can do today. And we're here with Rachel. She's a student support advisor and uh, we're very thankful she's given us her time today to talk about what happens when you need student support. Hi, thanks for coming. Yeah, thanks for having us. Okay, so if you need uh, to see a student support advisor, um, we generally see students who um, may have a long-term condition, they may have a disability, they may have learning challenges um, or a long-term medical condition. So in those situations, students are entitled to receive reasonable adjustment to assist them with their studies. So for example, a student um, who experiences dyslexia may need extra time to um, complete assessments in class. So they may take some, it may take them a little bit longer to complete reading and writing tasks. So to have a little bit of um, extra time to complete assessments or assignments is generally helpful for a student with, with dyslexia. Um, they may also need to use assistive technologies in class to assist with reading and writing. So that's something else that we can ask lecturers to do to support students. We also see uh, students who experience anxiety um, at, at TAFE and sometimes it can be as simple as just including in a support plan that this student may need to take short unscheduled breaks and that just allows the student to go outside to regroup and then to come back into the class when they're, they're feeling better again. So, you know, just things like that can assist students with their study. So what we tend to do is um, put in place reasonable adjustments and we ask the lecturers to, to, to put them um, in place for the student. Wonderful. Yeah. So how does that start? Like if I, if I have an issue, yeah. what do I need to do? Um, well, a student would make an appointment through Student Support Services. So we have student support advisors on every campus in South Metro TAFE. So they would make an appointment with one of the advisors. Um, I'm at Peel and and Rockingham, by the way, <laughs> would love to see you. Um, and a student can uh, come in, make a time to come and see us. Generally, they would bring um, medical documentation with them, and we sit down and we put together a student support access plan. So the medical documentation um, will often include reasonable adjustments within that, so we can include that information. But it's also really helpful to know from the student what's helped them in the past. So what type of supports have worked for them and that generally is you know a really good indicator and helpful for the for the, the lecturers to know as well so we put together a support plan and with the permission of the student I send that to the lecturer so the lecturers are aware of what they can do to support the student um, and that's all that we tell the lecturer at that point the diagnosis of the student remains confidential unless they decide that they would like us to disclose that information so what happens if like I've got a short term something happens to me, like I break my arm? Yep, if you break your arm or if you um, need an extended stay in hospital or if you have an ongoing illness, um, you know, so if, if you've broken your arm and you can only use one hand to type or, or to work, then you may need extra time to, to complete your assignment. So we can liaise with the lecturers in those circumstances. And again, if you have a long term hospital stay or a long term illness, uh, we can liaise with lecturers depending on the circumstances and we can uh, assist you through through that part of your studies. Oh, well, great. So what if my problem is really big? What if it's bigger than yeah. study? Yeah, okay. Sometimes we see students who experience um, other issues that are beyond their study. So some students may experience uh, homelessness. Um, we have other students who come in requesting um, psychological or counselling support. And in those cases, we can link students to external services and, and put them in contact with, with, um, with those services. We can also, um, if there's an immediate need, we can, we can offer some short-term bridging uh, counselling services to students and, and then sort of link them up with services for ongoing treatment. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So what if I do, if like I, I'm not at campus today, how do I contact you? Okay, you can go onto the uh, South Metro TAFE website, look for student support services. There's a 1800 number there that um, will get you through and you just ask to speak to one of the student support advisors at your campus. Thank you, Rachel. That's Thanks. That's great. You've really busted the myths. <laughs> awesome. Um, I hope that our students really take the I opportunity. I so. We'd love to see them. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. See ya.